set to the comfort is the second. I think it overlaps. You know, you said you had friends who would knock down your confidence. You're obviously, as well as being more confident, you're a lot more comfortable in yourself, what you want to do, who you want to be. You know, we talked a few weeks ago about the whole Joe to Jose thing and, you know, that comfort in your heritage and who you want to be and how you want to be identified. So same thing, I suppose, looking back, are you more comfortable in yourself, less comfortable in yourself? Do you think you could have benefited from being more comfortable in your own skin in your younger days? Do you know what? Yes. Uh, I think when you're younger, again, I, I told you before, and it's like I didn't want to stand out. Like yes. I was quite good at certain things, but I would hide that because I didn't want to stand out, right? Because once you stand out, you become a target, right? So, and that kind of links with confidence, to be fair. You know, if, if you're confident, then you don't mind being the target because you can handle it, right? So, now I don't mind it where I'm the target because we've had it, don't we, on the podcast, right? <laughs> I, own, I only ever speak the truth, Joe. Oh, your right. external feedback. Is this the uh, the poo content comment? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, that we've had people in our lives, didn't we? Giving us a bit of hassle, a bit of grief. Yes. But had that happened when I was younger, I would have really, I probably destroyed me like, if that had happened. But now, because, like you said, Lee, more comfortable with, what I represent in myself, and like you said, like I'm, I before I would not want to hide my my heritage because in those days, back with the days that I'm talking about, like you're talking about the 70s and 80s, we weren't so well, we what, there was not so much cultural diversity awareness, or you know, it was a bit more you would feel on the edge if you had something a bit different, right? But now I think you know, looking back. I should have really owned it, but you, you just haven't got the confidence. It links the comfort, links the confidence, I think. So now I'm much more co confident about my comfort, where I sit. I know what I'm here to do. I know what I'm here on this planet to do. And that, for me, has been a massive comfort. And I've been able to speak my truth in front of many, many people. Again, that comes with confidence because of you, where you truly are. And that's the, the, the work I talked to you about when, we, when I was talking about, the, you know, the M. Carmichael book of Your One Word and Built to Serve. I now know where i am most what i represent and what my job here on this planet is to do i'm really aware of it now but it took a lot of work to get there because i had to go through mental health like we talked about in the podcast i had to go through very challenging times but did the work and and that was the missing was my miss my purpose was missing and now i have that purpose and now i'm i'm quite happy if someone says to me what are you passionate about coaching that's it love it you know and i'll tell people about it without actually going oh Oh, you know, not trying to hide it. So I'm just going to say, if you don't like it, that's okay. Um, before I would probably have gone, okay, I'm not sure whether you like it or not. I really do care about whether you like it or not. And I don't want you not to care because I like to be liked and none of that comes into play anymore. I still like to be liked, but I'm more accepting of the fact that not everyone's going to like it, but that's okay. And that's the comfort and I'm very happy. And this is why we do this podcast, right? Because the podcast is about coaching it's about personal development it's about stretching and you have to face those things to stretch and i've definitely found since doing the podcast that i'm definitely much more comfortable every time we do an episode i feel that increases and it's just what i'm meant to be doing and this is just feels right i think it, it's right it feels right and yeah and as you say if anyone asks me now in my place of work and even when i was at work with you lady they said well what's jose about well, it's coaching, isn't it? That's what it's about. And that's what I've always, that's, I think from a young age, I've always wanted to help people through my leadership days. I've always wanted to help people. And that was the common thread, the common denominator. Even we worked together and we called it a coaching team. It wasn't even a coaching team, more a training team. But even then it was coming out in weird ways that I didn't understand until now. Like Steve Jobs says, connect the dots backwards. If I look back now, oh, it makes total sense that I want to help people. And this is a, coaching is a skill which really does accelerate people. And that's, the why I love it so much because it has that power.